Hey gang, Scott here. So On1 has released Photo Raw 2024, and the marquee feature is Brilliance AI. In this video, I'll cover a beginner workflow with Brilliance AI right from the browse module. And this is one video in a series about Brilliance AI. If you haven't watched the overview video where this uh, overview unpacks Brilliance AI, kind of explains what it does and how you can control uh, aspects of what it does, go check that one out. I'll put a link in the show notes, a card up here somewhere that can jump you over to that video. Also, if you're thinking about adding Photo Raw 2024 to your toolkit or any of the other on one tools, please check the show notes. I have an offer code down there. We'll save you 20%. It doesn't cost you anything extra, save you money, gives me a little support too, so I can do videos like this. So this beginner's workflow with, with uh, Brilliance AI, it starts in browse and you don't even have to go into the edit module because Brilliance AI is front and center in the browse module. Let me show you here. So I am in the browse module and let me choose this photo here, make that large so we can see what's going on. Let's have the levels open here so we can kind of see there's that, that histogram of this photo without any adjustments. This is just, you know, straight out of the, straight out of the, uh, the, the raw file. We have Brilliance AI. It's right here. Now by default, it's off. You know, it's not doing anything uh, to the photo. You have the option to tap into the tone and color or the uh, local adjustments or you know, even the noise or the retouch bits if you want it. Right? These are all the things we control in the preferences that are used by Brilliance AI when you're in develop. But there's like a, like, almost like a mini Brilliance AI right here. I can do the auto color. In this case, I also want those local adjustments. Find the sky, find the foreground, find the, the, the flora in the photo and make it better. And just those two clicks and you know the photos already you know, so much improved. You know, if I, I turn that you know bit of color off, you can see everything else gets turned off because I'm turning off brilliance. Turn it back on. Yeah, that's a very nice improvement. And I'm right here in browse. I didn't have to go anywhere. If I wanted to turn on noise and uh, do retouching on the faces, I can do all that right here from browse. So it's a uh, it's a very convenient and uh, I, I said a, a beginner workflow because it is really just turn it on, turn it off. You got a couple of controls there, so you can still say, I just want the general tone. I don't want you to go into different regions, but but it's right there in browse. And um, where I find this interesting, uh, this is another feature I need to do a separate video on, and I will do a separate video on, um, is the the AI style advisor. Let, let, let me just let me show you this with a with a different photo. This is this is a, this is an interesting workflow. So let's jump to this other photo here. This one here. We'll make that large, and uh, just as I did before, you know, go ahead, do the brilliance, turn it on, turn on the locals. It'll analyze the photo because I had the locals turned on and give me some results looking looking way better the the other bit that's interesting i'm still in browse i have access to my presets right and there's this new thing called style advisor and um, i'll explain the the gory details in another video but there are some auto magic styles that get generated based on the kind of photo it is and some training that you know the on one team has built in here and uh just for uh for like this one with the ruddy colors i like the one with the light leaks and the flares too but i'll just click on this one it's going to tell me it's going to apply some things to the effects stack i'm fine with that i've only been in browse i haven't gone into effects go ahead and do it and I've got a very different look and feel on this photo with just a couple of clicks from within browse, but leveraging Brilliance AI to do the tonal balancing for me of the photo overall. And then I can jump and tap right into other presets that are applying the effects, the style. Again, if you watch the overview video, you know that Brilliance AI, it's about getting you to a good, strong foundation, and then you can jump into your signature style. I hope you found this video useful, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the series on Brilliance AI. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.